Another way to simplify expressions is by using the distributive property. And we use the distributive property when we're multiplying something times a group of something. In this case, this tells me to multiply this 3 times everything in this set of parentheses. And notice there are 1, 2, 3 terms in this set of parentheses. So I need to multiply this 3 times all 3 of those terms. And the way we do this is just in an organized fashion. First, I'm going to take the 3 and multiply it by the 2x to the second power. Well, 3 times 2x to the second power, I don't have any x, x variables here, so all I have to really worry about is multiplying the coefficients. So I would take 3 times 2 is 6, and I would just bring along the x squared. So when I finish that multiplication, I'll get 6x squared. Now I need to take the 3 and multiply by the next term. So I'm going to take 3 times the negative 3x. So notice this is a positive number times a negative number, so that is going to give me a negative result. And 3 times 3 multiplying the coefficients is going to give me 9. I don't have any x variables to multiply, so I'm going to bring the x down. Now I need to take that 3 times the last term, which is negative 7. Notice again, a positive times a negative, so I'm going to get a negative result. And 3 times 7 gives me 21. That's the distributive property. In this video, I'm going to simplify an expression where we're going to use the distributive property and combining like terms. So I have this nice expression here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the order of operations to simplify this expression the same way we would if there were just numbers in this problem. You notice I have variables in here. It's going to change things slightly, but we're still going to follow the same order of operations. So the first thing I would look to do is to simplify anything that's inside of the parentheses. So I'm looking inside of my parentheses here, and I have x plus 2, and I have x minus 1. Well, those are not like terms, because x and 2 are unlike terms. I have a variable here, I don't have a variable there, so I can't add those together. x minus 1, I also can't do the subtraction or combine those together. So what I'm going to do, instead of adding things in the parentheses, is I'm going to go next to the multiplication that I have here. And when I multiply, I'm going to use the distributive property. So this tells me to multiply the 3 times both of these terms. So first thing I do is go 3 times x, which is 3x. Now I'm going to take 3 times this positive 2, which is going to give me positive or plus 6. Next, I'm going to distribute this negative 2. Notice the sign. I'm going to include the sign on that number. So I'm taking negative 2 times a positive x. So a negative 2 times a positive x is going to give me a negative answer. And that's going to give me negative 2x. And now I'm going to take this negative 2 and multiply it by the last term, which is negative 1. Notice we have same signs, negative times a negative. That's going to give me a positive 2 for my answer. So I've completed the multiplication by using the distributive property. Now I'm going to look to combine like terms. You'll notice in my expression that I have here, I have two pair of like terms. First, my x terms. Those are like terms. Also, my constant terms. Those are also like terms. So let's start with the x terms. I have a positive 3x plus a negative 2x. Well, if I had a positive 3x plus a negative 2x, that is going to leave me with 1x. Next, I'll go to my constant terms. If I'm adding a positive 6 and a positive 2, that is going to give me a positive 8. This is a great answer, and it's OK to leave that 1x on the front. However, you might see this answer written as just x plus 8. It's OK to write the 1x or x either way. If I have one of these x's or I have an x, it's still the same answer. So that is how to simplify expressions where we're using both the distributive property and combining like terms.